Hey guys, just woke up from a nap, so sorry I look weird and probably sound weird. Um, but my home health nurse is coming over in a little bit. She comes over every Monday. Um, we do dressing change and labs. But this morning I had my capsule endoscopy. I was literally there 15 minutes. Um, I just swallowed the capsule. And um, the last time I had this done, it was not this excessive. Uh, she stuck like all of these on me. I think this is insane. Like they're all over me. It's super uncomfortable, if I'm going to be honest. And then there's this thing that you also have to carry around. Like, those wires are attached to, like, this. Um, and I have to wear this for 24 hours. The last one I did, it was only, like, an 8-hour test. But this is 24 hours, and then I take it off. Um, and, like, you can't eat or drink for, like, I don't know. I think she said, like, 6 hours. Uh, but that doesn't really apply to me anyways because I don't typically eat or drink. I'm not going to lie, I do sometimes and it's bad because it makes me really sick. But a lot of you have been asking, like on my last video, like do I still feel hunger with TPN? And the answer is yes. I am starving 1000% of the time. Like it's unreal and it's not just like a hunger. It's like it's painful to the point where like I'm like hunched over. And I feel like I'm going to pass out, even though, like, I know I'm not starving to death. It literally feels like that. It's so, so, so bad. So, yeah. Like, not even being dramatic. It's it's that bad. But anyways, I'm going to go because she's going to be here any minute. And I have a couple of things I have to do first. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, guys. So, um, I'm not doing the test anymore because all of a sudden the transmitter made this weird noise. And at the top when the test is going it's light it like flashes a blue light and all of a sudden I was like after I heard the noise I looked down and it wasn't flashing anymore and I was like hmm so they gave me like a number to call um like if I had any issues so I called the number and she was like oh the battery died <laughs> I'm like what do you mean the battery died so um basically the battery died I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to redo the test she told me to mail the um like transmitter thing back she'll review the pictures and like have the doctor look it over and then they'll let me know if I need to do it again I'm gonna be really 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 mad if I have to do it again because um it, it was just rough um I don't know it was just not a fun test and um then I took the sticky pads off and I don't know if I'm allergic to the adhesive or what but it like tore my skin off I'm covered in hives just not fun so yeah anyways I'm done complaining um yeah I'm just happy it's over now I also had a really low blood sugar again tonight I mean it wasn't super super low but it got down to 55 so I still felt really really gross and thankfully I was able to fix it but anyways uh yeah I don't think anything else is going on so um yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got back from getting my hair done. It's a lot shorter and blonder, but I love it. And um, now we are going out to dinner for the twins' birthday today. They turned 13. I feel so old and they're growing up, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not comfortable going to restaurants, especially since I can't eat. Um, if I do decide to eat, it makes me really sick and I get terrified that I'm going to get sick in the restaurant, but then I feel really awkward telling like the waiter or waitress that like I'm not eating and I feel like they're like, then why are you here, if that makes sense. So um, usually I just avoid going to a restaurant, but I don't want to skip out on their birthday because I love them. So I'm just gonna deal with it and um, yeah, but we leave in three days. I'm so excited. And I did my makeup. So, yeah, I just opened a brand new brow product and tube of mascara. And wow, it makes such a difference. My other stuff was so dried up. But yeah, so anyways, I don't know why I'm so close. But I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, good morning. So I decided to eat last night and was just so sick. I'm not going to get into it because... I don't want to, but I'm feeling a little bit better this morning. Well, it's this afternoon now. Um, I have to go pick Haley up from school. 
and then I have to do a bunch of stuff for the cruise because we leave in two days and I'm so excited but um yeah anyways I will talk to you guys in a little bit because I really have to go get her or else she's gonna kill me for being late so yeah good morning guys so it's kind of early um but today is going to be a very busy day so um we've been watching the weather and it's not looking good we're supposed to get I think they said between like nine and 14 inches of snow um within like the next few days and we're supposed to be flying out tomorrow um out of pittsburgh and um we're kind of freaking out so we decided that we're gonna leave today to go to pittsburgh and just stay the night so um i have a million things i have to get done before then so i'm up and i'm actually about to get ready to go to target i gotta let my tpn finish and then we're gonna run to target the girls actually don't have school today it's like a public holiday or something I don't know um, and then um, I have to finish packing and then my TPN is being delivered for vacation so once that gets here I have to get that all together and I might show you just a little sneak peek but I think I'm gonna actually make like a separate video on like how to travel with TPN or at least how I'm traveling with TPN because it is so 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 stressful and um, I kind of want to share my experience like going through TSA but obviously I can't do that yet because we haven't anyways my hair looks kind of weird it wasn't a ponytail but it all fell out I don't even know what I'm talking about um, and just please 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 pray that like our flight doesn't get cancelled or something um, so anyways yeah I think I'm going to shut up and get going but I will definitely talk to you guys um, once I get home hey guys so home from Target I'm officially completely done packing like my stuff um the only thing I have left to pack is all of my medical stuff but I can't do that until it gets here so hopefully that'll be soon um it's 12 30 so I mean we have plenty of time but um the sooner the better and then in an hour I'll check in for a flight and stuff so um yeah anyways I think that's all I have to really talk about for now so I will talk to you guys in a little bit Okay, so all of my TPN and things that have to be kept cold are in these two coolers um, and we put it on like this rolling like cart thing. I'm not going to open open them because it's really, really packed and I don't um, want to have to stuff everything back down in there. In my next uh, carry-on, I have just sailing bags, so um, this is enough to get me through nine days. And then this is my second rolling carry-on. Up at the top, I have enough tubing for nine days. I have my Tegaderm, which is how I shower. In this bag, I have swab caps, dressing change kits, alcohol swabs, needles to inject my medicine, end caps for my Hickman. I have some of these gauze pads, um, and that's pretty much it. Then I have a bunch of batteries, my daily meds, some hand sanitizer, my two pumps and then at the bottom i have two boxes of saline flushes okay guys so we are leaving to head to pittsburgh to go to the airport so this is going to be the end of this vlog i don't think this video is going to be up until i get back but um anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video